Hi guys. One of the questions I get asked repeatedly is, can you decock an AR-15? And the answer is yes. Um, first we're going to do a safety check, no magazine, chamber is empty, and uh, I'm going to take the rifle apart so that I can show you what's going on and you can use this for the AR-15 and most semi-automatic rifles. So you can see here now that I have the rifle disassembled that the hammer's in the forward position, decocked position, and I have the bolt in my hand. As you pull back on the charging handle, you're overcoming some of the buffer spring pressure and the hammer spring pressure. So you pull it back, and then you let it forward, and you end up in a cocked position like this. Now, if you want to decock your rifle, as you pull back, you're still overriding the buffer spring pressure, but it's going to get to a point where you can feel it start to override the hammer spring pressure. At that point, as soon as you feel this make contact right here, you pull the trigger and you let your hammer forward slowly, or let the uh, charging handle forward slowly, and your rifle is now decocked. And I'll show you what that looks like with the rifle fully assembled. So now that I have the rifle back together, I'm going to show you how to decock it. First thing I'm going to do is charge or cock the rifle. And you can verify it's cocked, it's on fire, it's pointed in a safe direction. It shoots. I'm going to cock it again. Only this time, I'm going to pull back slowly. And you can feel I'm pulling against the buffer spring. At some point, you'll feel it start to override the hammer right there. As soon as that happens, I'm going to pull the trigger, I'm going to let the rifle forward, and the rifle is, again, it's on fire, but it won't pull because the rifle has been de uh, decocked. I hope this helped you out. Have a great night. Cheers.